hello welcome back to my channel if you have not followed this page please follow because i will be bringing you good news things that happen in europe and especially in italy but today i'm bringing you good news from spain for a lot of people that is still in africa that want to come to europe to come and work this one is from spain you understand he says always wanted to move to spain a dig a new digital nomad visa is expected to be launched this january you understand guys so he says spain is a person to introduce a digital nomad visa that would give non-eu national the chance to live and work there for up to five years he says this this cream Recently approved by the parliament, is expected to pass in January 2023. If it goes ahead as planned, the country will join a number of other European nationals that have introduced some form of digital nomad scheme in the last four year, few years, including Italy, Greece, Croatia, and, and um, uh, Portugal. When plan were first announced back in January 2022, the country was hoping to, to attract and retain international and national talent by, by helping remote workers. You understand? So, helping remote um, workers and digital nomad set up in Spain. According to Economic Affairs Minister Nadia, Cavino authorized estimate that it will help the country to recover from the economic impact of COVID-19. It is part of a law recently passed by the Spanish parliament called the, the, the Startup Act, aid at attracting entrepreneurship and helping entrepreneurship and boosting the country tech science. With some of the best internet speed in the EU, in the EU, a low cost of living and plenty of warm weather, Spain is already a popular destination for remote worker. The the coastal city of Val Valencia was recently voted the best city of expat in the world, and Madrid was also in the in the top ten in December. Three of the country village came out top in UNWTO annual ranking of the best village in village for tourism across the globe. While a Spanish town is officially home to the most beautiful street in Europe, according to according to UNESCO. So, how could the new digital normal visa? make living and working in the country is uh, easier and cheaper so my people they are trying to say they want to launch it so that people can get visa and come and work so how to they say who will be able to apply for the spanish digital normal visa though details are still being finalizing it it's true that the the scheme will be open to people who work remotely for non-Spanish companies. Anyone looking to apply for a digital normal visa will only be able to get a maximum of 20% of their income from Spanish fame. Application will be needed to need to be from outside of the European economic area. They will also need to be able to demonstrate that they have been working remotely for at least a year and have a contract of employment of if freelancers have been regular employed by a company outside of spanish anyone wanted to take advantage of the digital normal scheme we have to prove that they earn they earn enough money to be self-sufficient like likely to be around two thousand euro a month Application will need an address inside of the country 
and be able to submit documentation like a rented contract to prove this. There is not yet there is not yet any information on whether application will have to undergo a criminal record check. Official source have indicated that the digital nomad visa in Spain will originally be valid for 12 months. After that, remote worker will be able to renew the visa for up to five years, at which point they can apply for permanent residence. Close relatives like children and spouse will also be able to join the visa holder in the country. Spain is expected to offer task break for digital nomad worker and living in the country under the visa scheme. Remote worker may also pay a 15% task rate during the first four years of their stay instead of the usual 24% rate if currently plan go ahead. So what is just like... um. It's just like Italy also, just like what they call flus in Italy. Spain own is uh, nomad, nomad, you understand? Uh-huh. So what they are saying that they need worker in Spain to boost their economic. They're supposed to sign it last year, to, but they did not. But this year, this generally they want to sign it. So for people, if uh, they, after all, they say they need people that is outside, outside uh, Spanish, to come and work, they will give you one year visa. If you work well, they will they can renew it up to five years. And your fa- you, if you are coming, you can even come with wife and children, safe, uh-huh, to to come and work there. You understand? I believe that you will need somebody that is living in Spain to help apply for it. People that is outside uh, this thing, their requirement is that you show that. You have worked before. You have experience of one year. Maybe you have worked farm work. You have worked in other places. You understand. But if you don't have anybody that we, uh, any company that we apply for you, you must make sure that you have proof that you have been working, even though it's not Africa, that is outside Spain, outside European Union, that is non European Union, even though you are outside uh, Spain, you prove that your salary. You have earned 2,000 euro before in where you are working if you want to apply it by yourself. So thank you very much, my people. Share this video. If In case anybody that is living in Italy, Germany, and all those things that don't have work, that want to go to Spain, if you have people in Spain, they will tell you how to go about it. You apply for the visa and go and work. Maybe people that is in Italy say they can apply for the visa to go and work because they say they will give you a visa of one year. They will be renewing it. Thank you very much. Share the video so that other people can learn, especially people in 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 Libya, so that they can able to get this information, so that they will they can get opportunity from relative that is living in Spain can help them. This is another easy way. That's why I'm saying I'm not advising anybody to from. Uh, from it uh, to follow land. This is an opportunity. You grab it well. Look for somebody that can help you in Spain. Thank you.